Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to be playing Great Yule Incident. So apparently this is like an alien type game, like UFO spottings and stuff, and I, I guess I'm into aliens. Anyway, let's play the game and let's see what happens. Great Yule Incident. Of course, we have to be in a cornfield. Makes sense. Any alien film is always in the bloody cornfield. Kevin Northman. Guys, can you hear me? My husband said he spotted someone or something next to our car again. I know this sounds weird, but he said it looked like an alien. But they ran into the cornfields and disappeared. I'm going to call the police. Amy, don't. I don't trust the cops or the government, or anyone else for that matter. And you shouldn't trust them either. We created our neighborhood watch for this exact reason. Brandon, I understand the situation, but this needs to stop. It's also absolutely irresponsible to send Ryan out tonight. Amy, don't tell the officials anything. Otherwise, we all end up in the nut house. Are you trying to tell them we think there's little green men running around? Gray, Brandon. They are gray. Great. The only thing we can do in our situation is to board up our windows and doors. I'll try to rest a bit. Uh, but Amy, trust me, you don't want to end up in the psych ward. I've paid a high price to break free. The only way to escape Bob, was to... you've told your stupid story a thousand times. In Vietnam, we dealt with things worse than that almost every day. What does Vietnam have to do with it? <laughs> Whatever. I always wear my tinfoil hat when I leave my camper van. I believe the aliens have the ability to control us through telepathic powers. I'm convinced that the hat protects me. Hey, guys. Henry's been acting strange since he came home from the forest this morning. I don't know what's going on with him. Ryan! Hey, my kitty cat's also behaving really strangely. And she hasn't come home yet. Please. Look for her during your shift. I'm really lonely without her. Uh, Henry is more important right now. But if I find your cat, I'll let you know, Bob. Her find his cat. All right. I'll reach out to the other neighbors. I'll tell them to board up all their stuff. The fact is, our government is hiding something from the people. Things like this just don't happen here in Grey Hill. It started with Roswell, and it's been increasing since the 60s. That is the way it is. Are you and your bat ready for the night shift? Ryan Baker, the king of baseball. Yeah, Brandon. I am. Don't Just forget to visit us later, Ryan. We'll make some coffee for you. Yeah. Sure. Thanks, oh. Amy. Okay. So we have to go find Paul. Oh no, I have to like... What time is it? Oh. God damn it. He still hasn't fixed the TV. Henry, tell me what you saw in the forest today. You should ask Rachel, that crazy girl. Henry, there's someone in your room. Is Rachel in there? God, I hope not. She should stop bothering me. What's going on with you, Henry? Tell me. Who's there? I'm going to your room, Henry. Stay here. Which one's his room? This is his room. Hello? Someone was in your room. They went out the window. Went out the window. Oh, shoot. Max is working. Yeah, we're gonna go to Max. Max! Max! Bro, where do you place your front door? Am I dumb? Oh. <laughs> That was the front door, okay, my bad. You're a donut! 
What are you barking at, bro? Max, stop barking. Who's there? Fuck. Is someone in the shed? Max, be quiet. Whoa. What the hell? Find something to break this door. The German Shepherd. Hey, Bob. Okay, I need to find something to break this door. Ah. Oh, crowbar. Oi! Show yourself a fool. Where you at, bro? Locked in. No, Max. 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 Max, stay here. Max. Uh. Max. Say. Max. Max. I'm not going to the bloody cornfield. Dad, it wasn't Rachel, right? Yeah, he uh, locked the door and ran out of the room. It's windows. okay, he's gone now. I guess I should do the it same. Was a strange light. We should all be. Look! The TV! It's working now! Oh, this is our scene. Good evening, light. ladies and gentlemen. Lunatics and conspiracy theorists claim to have seen a UFO. The minority tries to convince other people that the small green aliens are real. The government has checked into this incident and has announced that this UFO, fortunately, is just a weather balloon. This movement that you'll see in a few seconds is just a reflection on the lens of the camera. There is no reason to concern, and don't forget to be aware of the small green man in your backyard. Your Mr. Broker. Small green man. That is not a weather balloon. They're lying. The government is lying and they're trying to hide it from us. Brandon was right. They're already in Grey Hill. We can't talk about it to the police. They'll just lock us up in a psych ward. Dad, we need to get out of this cursed place. I hate this neighborhood hole. Ryan, are you there? I'll go talk to Brandon. How do I... Oh. I'm here. Something is wrong with Joe Parson, the farmer, you know. He called me a few minutes ago. He was very afraid. Then the radio connection became broken off by something. He is working on the field near your house. You must check immediately what happened to him. Okay, I'll go check on him. By the way, someone was in Henry's room. They escaped out the window. I almost caught them in our shed. But there was a strange blue light. I'm sure Pull yourself here. together. Have you seen the TV news? No one will help us. We're all boarding up our windows currently. I know how to shoot because of the Vietnam War, and you can handle the baseball bat. We will overcome this night and drive to our holiday home by tomorrow. Don't forget how I shot your son's hat off while wearing it when I was drunk at the barbecue last uh, summer. Brandon, imagine how you I can still have the to gun pay for that. Sober. <sighs> but leaving town tomorrow sounds like a good idea. I'll keep you updated. Over and out. Alright. Check your fam. Guess we gotta go. Alright, boys. Ain't no way I'm this short, bro. But. It's because I'm crouched. Bro, what's happening? I can't drive my car. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Ryan, is everything all right? Yeah, we're good. I don't think so.
Damn it. Oh. Carl, did you see anything? Did you see any gray alien thing? I think it has a no. Okay, cows, if you see any aliens, let me know. Oh no, the cat! What the? Is this Bob's cat? Bro, what happened to you? The hell is on her head? I mean, it looks like Kitty. I should bring her to his caravan. Bro, this cat is absolute. I mean, the cat is cool. Yo! I got your. The cat. Where you at? He already boarded up his door weeks ago. I'll have to try the dormer window on his roof. Alright. Broski. I got your cat. How do I? Bro. Brian! I thought that was you on my roof. Is this Kitty? My cat? Yeah. Oh, I caught her out in the field near the tractor. Oh, what does she have on her head? I don't know. It makes a strange noise. It sounds like electricity or something. Oh, and Bob, I had a strange encounter in my backyard. There was also some kind of weird electricity. I'll tell you about it later. Let's look at the cat on the first. table. I'll take a closer look. Okay. Oh, where I? Where's the table? Oh. Mm, it looks like an implant or some kind of probe. Ryan, I think they abducted Kitty. Had experience. By the way, have you boarded up your house? It's really dangerous in Grey Hill these days. No, not yet. You should do it immediately. You need to wear a tinfoil hat. Your son Henry too. Oh, they go man. into your brains by telepathy. Also, don't forget, don't ever tell anything to the police. As Brandon said before, the government knows it. Now, take this preparation for your walkie-talkie. The tinfoil's on the kitchen desk. Oh. Okay. Ryan, please check the monitors! Fast! Huh? What the hell is this? No, no, what, no, no, no! What is no, happening? Something very bad is happening! Whoa! What is happening? Me to break this door, <laughs> okay. Bro, you're not gonna be safe, but, but anyway, it's your van. So, oi, where the aliens at, bro? Henry, can you hear me? That's 
eine Bahn. Look here, pal. If there's aliens in here, I'm not afraid to slap you with this baseball bat. I will demolish you. Okay. Going up. Where the aliens at? Where the aliens at? Alright. I'm warning you. Yeah? I'm a professional baseball player. We're going through the cornfield? We're going through the cornfield. Okay, I'm low-key crapping my, my, my pants right now. Son, Henry, no, open his damn door. He's upstairs, you prick. Come in. Where you? Thank God. I think he called them. Where is he? If there's an alien in my house, you're gonna get your flipping eyes whooped. Hey, the popo's here. Huh? Bro, what happened to you though? You guys good? Hello? Where did the cops go? Okay. What's this? Confidential. So, I can't read Why it. Why is there a secret file of Greyhill in a police car? This doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. I want that Glock, though. Yes. Ooh. I got a Glock. Yeah? Watch yourself. Warning shot. Probably shouldn't have done that. Huh. Oh. Bro. Bob. Thank God, Henry. They abducted him using some sort of ray or beam right through the roof. And a squad car crashed back there. I think Amy called him. But the car's empty and the officer's gone. Ryan, this is an absolute invasion. Do you know what that means? They'll abduct everyone in the village. Humans, animals, and every little insect. They'll take samples of everything, making experiments of everyone. This is an extraterrestrial investigation. This can't be our end. I don't want to end up as an alien experiment victim. They already cleaned your house, so I don't think they're going to come back. I've already started to board up your place. This will save us tonight. But Ryan, we have a little problem. I used up all the nails. This morning, I brought all my nails to the Creek family. Mr. Creek put them on the table in their house. You have to go get them. It's the first house on the left. I think he boarded it all up. All right, I'll get them. You have to find we a way in. communicate by walkies from now on. Okay. Is it checkpoint? Does that mean that we're gonna start fighting? Quick, test, test, test. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, Hello? Can you hear me. Over. Yeah, I can hear you. By the way, I found a gun in that crash squad car back there. Great. Let's hope I don't be have to use it. Be quiet and sneak around. It's dangerous if they hear the shots and see you. I think I'm also, going the wrong direction. Also, avoid using the flashlight. <laughs> the greys could see it immediately. And take note, it's important that they don't follow you into a house. If they do, we're screwed. If it becomes dangerous, hide in a car, a trash can, or something else. Yeah, great. Trash cans. Brandon would love to see that. <laughs> okay. Good luck, Ryan. I'm waiting for you. 
Wait, so I'm gonna fight the aliens now? Alright. Gotta go through here. Oh, okay. Got... Okay. Alright. Cool house. Always oh, wanted a double story. Crouch. You're crouching. Slimy as goo, fam. Go away. No, 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 no. Ah, no. No. Why not you do it? Why not you hit him? Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him again. He killed me. Yeah, great. Trash cans. Brandon would love to see that. <laughs> Come here, fool. Tired of his crap. Tired of his crap. Yeah? Fool. I run this place. My joint. What? I run this place, yeah? My joint. My joint. My joint. I run this place, sir. Yeah? I run this place. You don't come at me like that, bro. Who do you think you are? Coming into my planet, think you can just run things over here? Okay. Got myself some nails. That's right. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Damn straight. Is his body still here? Are you still here? Are you here? Yeah, you are. Little freak. What do you think this is, huh? A joke? Just think you can just come in with the big eyes, ugly ass, and think you can just run this joint. Huh? Come with the fancy ass spaceship. Where's my son, huh? Damn fool. Got the nails. Got some nails. Great, Ryan, you've got him. I've got some ammo. Ryan, Take are you there? Let me ammo. Need it, huh? Brandon, I'm here. Aliens everywhere, Ryan. Try to get inside my house. Rachel, go to your room. Hide under your bed. My house is more than all but I'm not sure if this helps. I need help, Ryan. Oh, no. The windows. Brandon. Brandon. Brandon, hang on. I'm coming. Okay, Ryan. Go to Brandon. He needs your help. In the meantime, I'll try to get my caravan working. They disabled all the cars in Grey Hill. Yeah, where's Brandon? Hello? Can anyone hear me? Hello? Hello? Please, is, Hello. is someone there? I can hear you. My name's Ryan. Who is this? My name's Apone. Thank God you're here. Uh, I'm injured. I'm trapped in a barn. Jesus, what's that smell? Who are you? In which barn? There's tons of them. I'm not sure. I just, I just woke up here. I, I can't remember what happened before that. You said your name was Ryan, right? I have to tell you something. The government, they, they know everything. They, they knew the invasion was happening here. They're gonna cover it up, like they always have. I'm sorry. I, I got here too late. Shit! Listen, Ryan, you have to get as much tinfoil as you can. At least five rolls. Five rolls. Hello? Hello? Uh, I think that was that cop that crashed his car. How does he know all of this? Where the hell am I gonna find all that foil? No idea. I assume it's this place of the air. Alright. Is there any aliens inside of you? I'll whoop your ass. You better watch yourself. 
Yeah. Okay. For one ten foil. For the boys. Ten more ten foil for the lads. And he thinks he can just run this place. You walk into my house. What do you think this is? Not in my house. <laughs> Bro, he just walks in and he's like, ah, I'm gonna kill you. No, you're not gonna kill me. I need bullets. I got bullets in here. <laughs> ah! Ruby, no! ah! Ruby, ah, I got no bullets now. Bro, why are you giving me a heart attack like that? Huh? Huh? Sprint! 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 Got any bullets? How many guys with no flipping bullets? Live in America, guys. Where are all the bullets? Yeah, we're going to die now. I should collect more tin foil first. Oh, go and say, maybe it's flipping tin foil in there, you know? Okay, got three tin foil. Okay. I have four ten foil. Yes, I got five. That should be enough. I should check in on Amy. She has to be in the diner. Okay. Go to the diner. Amy? Where's Amy? She should be here. But all I know, I need bullets. That's what I need. I need ammunition. Hey, me. We're in the barn in front of the diner. Okay. Be directly ahead of me. Great. Yeah. Nice. Amy, you done mess it up, hey. Hey, Amy. Oh. Amy? Amy! Ryan, thank God you're here. Yeah. Are you okay? No! Nothing oh. is okay! They abducted Henry. I forgot about I have that. to find a way inside that UFO. Meanwhile, I've been trying to get to Brandon's house because he's in trouble, too. We'll help you, Ryan. The cars don't drive anymore, but maybe this old biplane does. We could use the biplane to get near the UFO. That seems like a long shot. But I guess it's our only option. But even if we do get close, how the hell are we going to get inside of that thing? I don't know. Maybe Matt has a solution for that. He is on the farm to get some stuff. Can you tell him that the biplane is almost repaired? Yep. Okay. All right. And by the way, that officer you called, they got him. They imprisoned him in a barn somewhere around town. I also found some odd documents about Greyhill in a squad car. I never call the police. Brandon forbid that. Yeah? But I thought you don't listen to our chief. Usually I don't listen to him. This time I did. But who called him then? I don't know. I'll go talk to Matt now. Okay. Ryan, 
We'll find a solution to rescue Henry. Okay. No. Matt! Is that you? Matt? Out. Hello! Help! I'm, I'm locked in here! Matt! What are you doing in there? Aliens came and I... I hid in the safe and, and now I'm... I'm locked in here. Oh, shit! Okay, um... I don't know the code, but I'll look for it, so just hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Brian, you don't think that they, um... You know... Probe us when we become what? abducted. I don't know, man. They abducted Henry. I'm trying not to think about that right now. Just hang on and let me get you out of there. Oh, Ryan. We'll help you. Please. Please look for the code. My back hurts already. But make sure the Greys don't follow you into this room. Otherwise, you have to lure them away. This is up they don't see us. What's this? Did you hear that? No. 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 How? How? How do you see me? How? How? Okay, yeah, this ride is good. Oh! I'm gonna go talk to Amy about our plan to rescue your son. Can you go and search for a barrel of kerosene and bring it to the barn gate? Yeah, I'll go find one. You just better have that plane ready. Bruh, how much stuff must I find? Bring it to the barn door. Hello? Ryan! Ryan, can you hear me? Yeah. Huh? A pwn! I can hear you! What happened? I'm not sure. I... I can't think straight. They cut me. Bad. I think I got away before they could finish. They put something in me. It's cold to the touch. Some kind of metal, maybe. I'm almost at the church. Can you see it? Jeez. Meet me inside. We need to talk about next steps. All right, I'll be right there. Funny how they gave me a flipping heart attack, bro. All right, coming to the church. Be church. A 
I'm away. And I looked, and behold, a stormy wind came out of the north, a great cloud with a fire enfolding itself, and a brightness round about it, and out of the mist thereof as if it were glowing metal, out of the mist of the fire, and out of the mist thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. And this was their appearance. They had the likeness of a man, Father and Grant. every Father one Grant had Ryan. four. Don't you hear that I'm preaching? Stop interrupting me! Did you see a police officer come through here? His name is Apone. And you think he can secure you from the angels of God? F Father! Those aren't angels. This is an alien invasion. They abducted my son and I need to save him. Who knows what they're doing to him? Ryan, he is in God's hands. What do you think will I give that the angels take me? Your son is blessed. It begins. Oh, it that? begins oh, now. Shoot. Whoa. Whoa. Holy crap. Bro. They just abducted him through the roof. I don't see any bullets, bro. The father got abducted. <laughs> Is it? Oh. E. All right. This guy. <laughs> nah, that's so, bro. How can you be lusting on the side while being a bloody creature, bro? I mean, come on now, bro. What's wrong with you? Look at that. Oh, bro. That's... <laughs> okay. Okay, bro. Okay. Flipping out. Man of God, yet he's busy jacking off on the side. While in the church, by the way. That's nuts. Oh, man. Opone, I'm here. Ryan, glad to finally meet you. Listen, these... Motherfuckers, they, they probed me. It hurts. Ooh. I can't help you anymore. But here's the number of the man who sent me here. Take it. They took my son. Do you know how to get him back? Call the number. He'll know what to do. He'll help you find your son. Help you stop this invasion. <laughs> He's done this before. Don't call anybody else. Not the police. Not the government. They won't help you. <clears throat> not unless you want to end up in the psych ward if you survive all this. Only trust the man on this number. <clears throat> I never thought I'd die in a goddamn graveyard. <clears throat> Pone! A pone! Don't die, goddammit! Where the fuck am I gonna find a working phone? He's dead. But have you got bullets? He has bullets up. A pone, you got any. You tell me a police officer has no bloody bullets. Where's your bullets? No bullets for the boys. Find a bloody phone. Someone in his house. Okay. Got some bullets. Phones are all great. The phones are down, obviously. Guess I'll have to check the telecom pedestal down the street. Ah! Flipping out! Flipping out!
Go away. Go away. Ah! There's two! There's two! Oh, I need to reload. Okay, what can we do? Run is manageable. Far away as possible. Okay. Now I can spin. Hmm. And the circuit board is broken. Where the hell am I gonna find one of those? Hey, this actually might work. I hear him. I do hear him behind me. Yeah, he sees me. I wish I can just move a bit quicker. No. There. That should about do it. Now time to call this mystery man. No, go away! No, you're you like actually annoying. Actually, you look like so annoying, bro. Honestly, you like. Nah, look, like you actually have to stop. 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 No, how am I supposed to escape him? How? 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 All he's doing is chasing me the whole time. How do I escape you? No, this is actually glitched, bro. Ow! I can't escape them. I got no bullets on me. Sprint! 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 Why the hell are you walking? There's no point for you walking. There's two aliens running after you. Not even running, they're walking. But sprint! Why are you sprinting? Sprint! Sprint! Jeez, like, you've been flipping so annoying, bro. God damn it. Please pick up the phone. Yeah. Uh, hey. My name's Ryan. I'm calling from Greyhill. Your friend Depone gave me this number. He He's dead. I'm I'm sorry. He told me that he came too late and that I should call this number. That phone is dead. Ryan, did he tell you about using tinfoil? And if so, do you have enough? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Listen, they took my son. He's on board one of those fucking ships. A pwn said you can help me. Yeah, I can. Now listen to me and do what I tell you. Wrap your entire body in the tinfoil. Completely cover yourself head to toe and let them abduct you. I know this sounds crazy, but if you want your son back, you have to trust me. Ugh, seriously? Yes. Ryan, trust me. <laughs> Who exactly are you? And how do you know this works? 
fuck. This is the most stupid thing I've ever done. Alright, that's it. God, I look like an idiot. Bro, the need you without me. So this plan won't work. I have to warn them. Amy, can you hear me? Matt! Matt, can you hear me? Ah, oh, fuck. I'll try it again later. But where's the plane? I don't hear them anymore. Find a way onto the field. Ugh. Hello. Oh, what? Jesus Christ. Whoa. It's a goddamn UFO parking lot out here. I'm gonna have to go around them. Got the UFOs out. Got the squad. Then Diesel, Fast and Furious, bro. What about family? Lights are the air. Yeah, I'm good. But something is wrong with Amy and Matt. They started the biplane to rescue Henry, but I don't know where they are, and I can't hear the plane anymore. We might have been taken by those things. Hey, where are you? What's your plan? I'm pretty close to Brandon's house. This detour took way longer than expected. I hope he's okay. I don't have time to explain everything, but this cop I met, they got him. He's dead. He was Ryan. sent to warn us by a mysterious man, who I contacted, and he told me the only way to rescue Henry is to dress up in tinfoil and let them abduct me. I know, I know, it sounds crazy, but if it's the only shot I have to get Henry back, I have to try. Yes, that could work. Well, at least to avoid them going into your brain. I'll guide you once you're in it. <laughs> Am I going to Sounds good. Make sure you get your van up and running. That was Brandon's Once I get kid. Henry will drive out She's and still in the house. Man. He can help us figure this all out. Wait, Bob. That maybe That I sounds like Amy's around. walkie. That's Amy. Wait. Amy. Amy, are you there? Amy. I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Henry! This is I'm Mr. coming for you! House. God damn it! What's his name again? Fuck! What's happened? Matthew! No. Are you here? Please, no! God! You brave bastard! Get your fucking fingers out of my dirty ass! <laughs> what? Is that Brandon? What the fuck are they doing to him? I think they're all on the same ship. What in the hell should I do now? Bro, why is the dialogue like interfering with one another? Oh my word. I need to find something to break this door. This is F. Bro, use an axe to break the door. What do you mean you don't want the axe? Fine, let's take the crowbar. Take the boring option. Rachel! Ryan! Um, what are you wearing? Oh, man. <laughs> I'm so glad they didn't get you. I was hiding under my bed, but they got Daddy! Daddy! Uh, yeah, I know. Oh, shit. My dad says the government is lying about everything. Well, he's right. But don't worry, though. I'll protect you. I have to get on that saucer to save him, so I'll bring you to Bob, okay? He can watch after you until I come you back with your dad. You can't protect me! 
My dad says you're a weakling and you can't protect anybody. He said you couldn't even save your own marriage. Damn. Well, I know he's your dad, but don't believe everything he says. And besides, I killed a few of those aliens on the way over here. And your dad's the one stuck on the ship. <laughs> what? Where is your son? Where is Henry? <sighs> They got him too. Ryan, that sounds like a car. What? They must be driving through town stopping for gas or something. Bro, that's aliens driving okay. the car. That's gonna be a um, You weren't in Vietnam like my dad was, right? Uh no. Well, can you check the window? God bless you. Huh? Rachel, no! Where are you going? Stay! Ah! What the fuck is going on with this kid? And what the hell is Brandon teaching his daughter? What the hell is happening? What? What is? What is going on? Ah, it's a key. I need that. Yes, some bullets. Finally, I got two bullets in the gun. Be suffice for one alien. I mean, if freaking five of them come after me, I'm dead. Mm. Rachel, you in this car? Oh, no, they got him. Oh no, Rachel. Oh no 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 open his door open his door <laughs> Rachel Huh Max is that you Ryan, I'm, here. I'm away Brav where are you That is it. Let them take me. Oh, Rachel, she's still here. Where is she? Rachel. Rachel. What the hell? Looks like the light from the shed. Are you here? Ryan! Yeah, Bob! A few of them greeted me some minutes ago. While I was out working on the caravan. Yeah, after taking a photo shoot, I asked them if they wanted to have some coke, but... Bob, it's okay. All good. I got it. Just joking! I imprisoned one in the bedroom, and I put a tinfoil hat on him. I'm gonna make some experiments. But I won't! Probe him. Bob, I swear. Please stop. Uh, maybe sell him on the black market. I got market. Brandon's daughter, so I'm a little busy. Uh, what okay. do you need? I found a solution to make the caravan work. It'll take me a few minutes to oh, get it done. Bob, that's great. That's what I needed to hear. It'll be our chance to get out of this town. I have to save Rachel first. She's trapped in the barn by the gas station. I'm going to get her. Then we can make a plan to save Henry. Yes, Ryan. We have to be fast with Henry. God, I hope they didn't start drilling into his teeth. Bob, can you not say shit like that? I don't even want to think about it. I heard Brandon causing trouble for them on the saucer through Amy's walking. I think they're all on the same oh, shit. Good. Okie doke, bye Ryan. Jesus Christ. Alright, let's go get Rachel. Rachel is in there. Why the hell did they use a bike chain to lock the gate? It's crazy. Gonna have to find some bolt cutters or something to get through there. I can't 
can't anything ever go smoothly? Take this. 300 IQ plays, bro. 300 IQ plays. Rachel! Oh, Rachel, I'm here. <laughs> Rob, I've always wanted to see. Glad that. you're here. And the caravan's working. I'm gonna put Rachel in your bedroom. She needs rest. Bob, seriously. You imprisoned an alien. I, I told you I did it, dude. Just lay her on the carpet. But again, I didn't probe him. Didn't probe him. Just put a tinfoil hat on him. Ha ha. So funny. Bob. I think he's one of their dentists, not one of their butt drillers. That doesn't sound good, Bob. I'll go out and try and get its attention. I need to get it to abduct me. It's my only shot at getting Henry back. Drive to Nevada and take Rachel with you. I think that's where our mysterious friend is. I'm gonna work with your mysterious friend together to bring all this to the public. Okay. All right. His number is 555-0199. Call him as soon as possible. And Bob, all right, I gotta go. Thank you. Stay safe. Hey, uh, Ryan, you know, you were the only one who didn't think I was crazy. Thanks for that, man. I love you. Love me too, man. Okay. Let's go get abducted by aliens. Whoa. That's bright. Yeah. Is it working? Henry? Henry? Is that it? Okay. All right. See ya. A dog. Yep, things seem to have worked out pretty good for Rachel and me. Uh, I hate that we don't know what happened on the UFO to Ryan and the others, but... Well, after Ryan was abducted, his dog Max came along, and together we're now on our way to meet this mysterious man. I mean, that was the Grey Hill incident. Time for a new book, yeah? God, I hope I'll find a publisher this time. Ah, look at me. Rambling again. Well, I hope you folks enjoyed yourself. Catch you on later down the road. Hey, Rachel. What was your favorite part about the story of Grey Hill? Uh, Bob? Who are you just talking to?
so that was the video for you guys today hope you guys enjoyed the game yeah it was a pretty decent game it has some flaws but i i, I really enjoyed it remember verse of the day is down below in the description i hope you guys read it god loves you i love you have a great day